Welcome to the Minikube installation demo. In this video we demonstrate how to install the latest Minikube release on Ubuntu Linux 18.04 LTS. The installation steps are similar on other Ubuntu Linux releases such as 16.04 LTS, 19, 20.04 LTS or other Linux distributions. For environment isolation we are installing the latest VirtualBox release as Virtual Machine Manager. However, Minikube works on Linux with another VM manager, KVM, or with container managers such as Docker or Podman to provide environment isolation in a container instead of a virtual machine, or without isolation as a bare metal deployment. Before we begin, I would like to remind everyone that Minikube was designed to be installed locally directly on the native operating system of a workstation, not on a virtual machine, nor on a cloud VM instance. So let's proceed with the installation. Keep in mind that all installation steps are performed in a terminal. First, Let's verify the virtualization support on this system. Where a non-empty output confirms that virtualization is supported and enabled. Now we prepare to download VirtualBox. We add the source repository specific for the Ubuntu 18.04 LTS Bionic release. Then we download and register the public key. Then we update the package list. And finally, download and install the latest VirtualBox release. This process typically takes about a minute or two. And now VirtualBox is successfully installed. Next, we download the latest Minikube package, make it executable, and add it to our path. And now we are ready to start Minikube. This process takes about two minutes. Minikube downloads the latest Kubernetes packages creates a VirtualBox virtual machine, downloads and configures Docker as its default container runtime, and then bootstraps a single node Kubernetes cluster with kubeadm inside the VirtualBox VM. It also installs and configures kubectl, the Kubernetes command line. Now let's check Minikube status with the Minikube status command. The status shows that the host is running, the kubelet agent is running, the API server is running, and that kubeconfig is configured for kube control tool. Now we can safely stop Minikube. Minikube is stopping inside the virtual box, virtual machine, and then it is shutting down the VM. So in this video, we learned how to install the Minikube Kubernetes cluster installation tool together with a virtual machine manager, VirtualBox, and use them to provision a single node Kubernetes cluster on our workstation. 
Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.